welcome to my channel my name is Giselle Ruby and for those of you returning welcome back it's been a while for sure um, a little over a year I think but yeah a lot has happened since my last video just a quick little recap I uh, actually finished school last spring yeah and I did an internship over the summer and I also started my first big girl job last fall but yeah that's kind of why I've been away for a while just really felt like it was best to fully concentrate on those things but I feel ready to be back and filming for you guys so I'm so excited about that uh, but yeah so let's get into this video about these desert beige combat boots from Prada so just for a little background you guys I actually went to visit Italy this past January for my sister's birthday it was just my sister my mom and I and we were there for like about a week or so we went to go visit Venice Rome and during our stay in Rome we went to go to and please be patient with me uh, if I'm butchering this I'm so sorry we went to Via dei Condotti had like all these beautiful shops you know like all the big name brands and also uh, like boutiques as well and Prada was there it was right in front of the Spanish steps uh, if I'll just put insert a picture right here of you know the Spanish steps and everything but I knew going to Italy that I wanted to get something you know that was from Italy like like a brand from Italy and I've always wanted to get something from Prada so this is actually my first uh, purchase from Prada ever I never imagined getting this item at all like I was not there to get shoes or boots or nothing like that I was there to get a purse which is the one actually right behind here but I'm not gonna get into that one I'm gonna save that for another video um, but yeah so when I saw these boots it just drew me in okay I'm gonna be honest I've kind of seen these boots in a lot of places, at least the style of it, you know, like the color and the you know, combat bootish, but mostly chunkier. And and I was debating like whether or not for a long time to get boots that were these shade. They were so strange to me. I don't know. I've never seen boots these color before. It looks more like the combat boot that I would wear in high school a lot from Steve Madden, just in this color though. Um, do you guys remember the the troopas or the is that what they were called the troopas the trooper the black and the brown ones Oh my god, that was everything for me. I would wear those like every single day I swear I feel like there's a reason why combat boots always come back in style, you know every now or so years It's because they really are a staple but enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and unbox them for you guys So here they are it comes in this beautiful light blue box. I'm trying to focus it in a little bit just so you can see the logo. Um, but yeah, from far away, it's like a beautiful baby blue. I honestly thought everything was kind of like white or something. Um, but I love this color. It's so pretty. So without further ado. Yeah, so everything's pretty much blue. Even the wrapping paper is blue as well. Um, so just opening it up. Here's what it looks like initially. They both come with their own individual uh, shoe dust bags. <laughs> they are so cute. Uh, look at that. Oh my god. Uh, me acting like I haven't seen it before. Um, no, but yeah, they are just honestly beautiful. This is from a glance how they look like. They're in the color desert beige. But yeah, so now I'm going to get down to the more detailed part of this video where I break down all the product specifications, you know, the sizing, pricing, how they look like on me, um, and anything else that could help you guys when making a decision to purchase these or not. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for that. So the full name of this item is called the Brushed Leather and Re-Nylon Combat Boots in the color Desert Beige. So this boot actually has two different materials to it. And as you can tell, this upper part has that nylon fabric that you guys have probably seen on a lot of Prada products. So I think they actually call it Re-Nylon just because it's recycled nylon. Um, but then the bottom part here is leather. It's calf leather actually, except the sole. The sole is just regular rubber, I believe. This item retails for 1,300 US dollars um, and then 950 euros. It also has leather lining on the back part of the shoe and it runs down the front part of the shoe with the laces. So 
So these are the polyester laces that run down through the front part of the boots. And note that there are no side zippers or anything like that. So these laces are, you know, what helps to tighten and loosen the boots itself on you. So it has an embossed rubber triangle logo on the front part of the tongue. It's really cute. It kind of has like a 3D effect to it. So I got this in the US size 7.5, um, but the European Prada size is 37.5. Now these shoes honestly fit like a glove. They didn't run big or small. That's my normal size that I wear, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis with my other shoes. So I was really happy about that. Then we have the enameled metal triangle logo, which is on the outside part of the boots. And this is the logo that you would see on, you know, the purses, the bucket hats, and all that good stuff. If you change your mind, you can always just return the item itself. And you can do so within the 14 days of it being delivered, um, free of charge, as long as you use the return label provided with the order. So after trying on the boots and you know, I decided to purchase them, my sales associate, Christina Serrao, I still have her business card, um, which I'm trying to focus. There we go. I kept it just because, you know, it was my first uh, big purchase that I made by myself and I was just so happy. I wanted to keep all the memories possible, including the card because she was amazing and super, super sweet and very patient with me and my family. But yeah, so she actually told us about Global Blue and Global Blue is a tourism shopping tax refund company. Yeah, it kind of sounds confusing, but... Let me go ahead and kind of kind of break them down. So basically they help foreign travelers do tax-free shopping in certain countries, which include Italy. I know this sounds like a little too good to be true, but basically the two main things that you need to do or like the requirements that they have is that one, you need to be a resident outside the EU, which um, I am, I live in the US. And then two, you need to spend a minimum amount of money in one place, but it has to be in the same day. Now that's a little bit of a catch just because you know, you don't know if you wanna spend a lot of money in one place when you're traveling. But just a heads up, they do require your passport to be able to sign everything off and give you that slip that you need once you're gonna go to customs at the airport or a nearby uh, Global Blue service center. But I was already traveling with my passport. My family was already traveling with their passports. And thank God we did because we were able to use the Global Blue like right away, you know, they, we were able to get it signed off. And uh, actually right in front of that Prada store on Via de Condotti, they do have the Global Blue Center, which can kind of make things a little bit faster when you're going to customs at the airport. I know that was a lot of random info, but I kind of just wanted to throw it in there just in case you ever do see that Global Blue logo um, while you're doing shopping in Europe or Italy and you know they bring it up you'll at least be a little bit more familiar with it um, and they don't bring it up then you bring it up just because you know you don't want to skip out on that tax-free shopping but yeah that was that but that's a wrap you guys that was everything uh, related to the combat boots from Prada in the color desert beige I hope you guys liked it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel I'd greatly appreciate that and yeah, you know, just thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Um, bye, guys. Much blessings to you all.